Hello everyone, welcome to SST College of Arts and Commerce. This is Edupedia, myself Archana Naya. Here we are going to discuss the topic from the IoT, this which is SOC. SOC is a system on chip. System on chip. What is this system on chip? System on chip by definition we can say that it is an integrated circuit which will be including microprocessor, microcomputer and every system which we used to do support in a computer system. So we can say by definition we can say it is an integrated circuit that integrates most of all components of a computer or other electronic system which means that when we are using a desktop computer we will be having monitor or input output systems, a processor and a system supporting for the memory which is storage etc etc. So we can say the entire thing has been integrated which is integrated into a single chip that is called as system on chip that's why we used to, to call our desktop or our computer as a system okay so this system has been included or integrated that means everything has been added into the shortest form and has been uploaded or embedded into a chip that's why it is called as system on chip you can also say that these components almost include the CPU, the memory units and input output devices in IO interfaces and all the graphic user interfaces, command interfaces in all the kind of interfaces and the storage, secondary storage interfaces often alongside other components such as radio modems, GPU all on single subtract or microchip. So this is a small kind of chip which we used to, to use as a microprocessor, microcontroller but this will be looking like a very small chip which we will be including all the supporting devices as well as a storage in input output interfaces on devices as well as modems and network connectivity and also a hardware and a processor for a computer system. Use, use case, uses case of SOC. Uses case means where we can use this SOC that means more important which is already included that embedded system applications especially where the microcontroller is used. We know what is the microcontroller and where we have used this microcontroller. The microcontroller which is an already an embedded system and SOC is a higher version of that. So in an embedded system of SOC we can also say that it is included all the in microprocessor and microcontroller. And SOC is a sound detecting device, can be a sound detecting device. Okay. SOC also can be a sound detecting device. We can, we can use it as a sound detecting device. A multi-purpose it is, which can be used as multiple purposes even for the medical purposes. The SOC for a sound detecting devices, that example, which might include an audio receiver and an analog to digital converter, a microprocessor, a memory and an input output logic control for the user and all is included in a single chip. That means in when we are using the sound detecting device SOC we are using as a sound detecting device it will be a receiver that means audio receiver it must be there because that is connecting the audio and it will be converting into the digital signals because the collecting audio will be included as a analog signal that analog signal will be converted into digital signal with the help of a converter and a microprocessor for this processing purposes and all these conditions which we have to convert and we signalize and then memory which we have to store the data and such as uh, temporary and permanent and the input output device that means we already received the audio signal as an input and we already uh, also have to uh, send the output as in the form of what it is demanding and so we have to use an input output system and these all things are included for a SOC sound detecting device in the form of a SOC. SOC is what? System on chip. Internet of Things applications such as home automations. Home automations is totally depend on the uh, microprocessor and the internet chips. 
internal chips okay the technology is used in very small increasingly complex consumer electronic devices such uh, devices have more processing power and memory that is typically 10 year old desktop computer so typically 10 year old desktop computer what all things which have been handled this all things will be included in a system on chip so that means it will be handling all those individual things which the desktop used desktop system used that will be ha handled by a system on chip used in smart ones smart watches tablets and computers handheld computers with the small chip antennas might some day be capable of browsing the internet in megabits per second speed so that this means actually the soce is having a very improved version of clock speed when the clock speed increases it will be providing very fast story very fast storage uh, also it will be providing very fast data transfer so this data transfer will be with the help of the highest high speed clock clock communication so the clock speed increases or the clock variation changes then that makes the megabit per second speed for the system so nowadays we are using the speed of kilobits per second whatever it is so now later it will be included in megabits per second speed is expected when we using this soc chip in future soc equipped nano robots robots of microscopic dimensions might act as programmable antibodies to fend off previously incurable diseases that means it can be used as a uh, audio detecting device which we already discussed that the audio detecting device can be used for the deaf people and also the uh, properly processed soc can be used for the uh, visibility action of the blind people so soc video devices might be embedded in the brains of blind people allowing them to see and soc audio device might all allow deaf people to hear so that is what we discussed that is what saying the deaf people also can hear using the properly processed soc chip for that particular purpose and also the blind people will be able to see the images when which is properly uh, conditionally processed and attached to their brain they can see because the brain will be the uh, device uh, de sorry organ which will be processing the signals of visibility so that this will be attached with that particular part of the brain then the blind people also will be able to see and also for the deaf people they can see what they they can hear what they are uh, what is happening in the surroundings because nowadays also few devices have been found to the supporting the deaf people so similarly this chip is an advanced version for that that will be attached inside the ear and it will be connected directly to the brain and will be helping the surrounded sounds to catch by the ears and that means by the soc and they will be able to understand and they will to they will be able to feel the frequencies or the vibrations nearby SOC evolving the SOL that is silicon on insulator SOI technology provide increased clock speed while reducing the power consumption by the microchip that means when already it said that clock speed when the clock speed is improved or increased then the power consumption also will be reduced and memory storage also will be increased architecture of a source is having a storage and memory properly the storage it is very concerned about the uh, storage soc whenever we are doing a device for the prosper, uh, variable purposes so multimedia encoder and decoder direct memory access cpu and dsp digital signal processor network interface card audio usb and video this is the structure of an soc chip 
and the condition according to the conditions what we are going to process will be varying and accordingly we have to include the specified interface cards architecture of soc processor is the main one then the processor it is the heart of the soc that's why i told you that is main one soc has multiple processor cores it can be a microcontroller or microprocessor and a digital signal processor or an application specific instruction set processor also this microcontroller and microprocessor we know that iot is mostly working on the process of risc and sysc so it will be based on the microcontroller as well as the microprocessor the digital signal processor is to provide the signals according to the analog to digital or digital to analog conditions and also the this, this this digital signal processor will be working as a encoder memory will be as the volatile as well as the non volatile memory and uh, volatile memory will be using as a ram rom eprom all these are the different my type of memories we are using volatile will be ram and non volatile will be referred as rom and in the type of rom memory which will be using is eep rom that is the electrically erasable random read sorry electrically erasable programmable read only memory okay electrically erasable programmable read only memory is eep rom and uh, ram will be using two types that is static rom static ram and dynamic ram s ram and d ram architecture of soc the next one is encoder and decoder which we have already seen the uh, structure of the soc the encoder and decoder will be converting the codes into the concerned form that means when we are getting an internal uh, uh, when we are getting a signal into the form of any form then we will be accepting accepting that then we will be encoding it we will be processing it then after that we will decode and we will be sending it back dsb is the signal digital signal processing unit and in the sos this pro, pro, performs the data collection and data processing that is the main process of this dsp and which will be also using to decode the images dsp can be used in the place of a processing the data and as in the data is in the form of image or audio video or multimedia in that case of multimedia input we have received it will dsp will be supporting to decode them next is architecture of soc the in, uh, network interface card the various interface cards are important also the network interface card is important because whenever we are attaching the chip for multiple purposes the network is very important factor in that because the network connectivity will be uh, helping us to communicate with the other devices the nic provides connection to the network of the system architecture of soc the next thing of an soc must be process of an external interface which will help it comply with the industry standard communication protocol such as usb ethernet and hdmi which all will be using for the process of the external interfaces it can also incorporate wireless technology and involves protoc protocols pertaining pertaining to wifi and bluetooth also we need to use the wifi or bluetooth we know that uh, home system will be mostly con connected with the wifi system so similarly it is into a chip also we need a network interface also it will be a wifi connected technology it will also need a gpu and graphical processor unit which is and in order to help the visualize the interfaces because when we have to convert the signals when we are using this process for the purpose of a multimedia communication then we need a graphical user interface other stuff of soc may used to include the voltage regulators phase lock loops control systems and oscillators clocks and timers and analog digital and digital to analog converters this is which we have already discussed that uh, that analog to digital and digital analog signal converters are most important for the encoding and decoding of the multimedia signals which we will be accepting as by the io devices 
and regulator voltage regulators are mostly used to, to regulate the voltage signals and also the oscillations which will be helping for the clock and clock speeds etc advantages are it is very small in size it will build a, uh, everything will be included in a single chip and it is very flexible since it is very small and it uh, also consuming less amount of power and it is cost effective since everything is included into one system so we need not to pay for the individual system so it is produced in a large quantity uh, it can be produced it is, since it is very small so production will be very easy it consumes low power since it is very small small these are the advantages and some disadvantages are also the this consuming designing process is very long because the process will be taking 6 to 12 months approximately minimum or maximum minimum half year <coughs> half year to 12 months will be taking for the process of making or interfacing or consuming the every individual system into one chip it in, in if any components of soc is not functioning then entire soc has to be replaced if one of the system is stop working then we have to convert it into the and the, we have to replace the entire system visibly soc is limited visibility of that is very much limited so this much is for the day soc we, i hope you understand that thank you so much